From the Gospel of Luke, from the 23rd chapter. Two others also, who were criminals, were led away to be put to death with him. When they came to the place that is called the Skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his left and one on his right. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they are doing. And they cast lots to divide his clothing. And the people stood by watching. But the leaders scoffed at him, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself if he is the Messiah of God, the chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine and saying, If you were the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him. This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who was hanged there kept deriding him, saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly. For we are getting what we deserve for our deeds, but this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, truly, I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. It was now about noon and darkness had come over the whole land until three in the afternoon. While the sun's light faded, the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. When the centurion saw what had taken place, he praised God and said, certainly this man was innocent. And when all the crowds who had gathered there for this spectacle saw what had taken place, they returned home, beating their breasts. But all his acquaintances, including the women who had followed him from Galilee, stood at a distance watching these things. watching these things. Don't look away. Don't look away. I know it's tempting and I know that it's easy, but don't. On this day of crucifixion, fix your gaze today on the humbling truth of the death of Jesus. I often hear people talk about their discomfort with Good Friday. Some people say, I don't care too much for it, or I don't really do Good Friday, as though we somehow get a choice to ignore it. We follow a Savior whose ministry was at odds with the political and religious power structure. We follow a savior whose ministry is probably still at odds with the religious and political power structure. 
His proclamation of God's kingdom come to earth came with the cost of his earthly human life. The degree to which Jesus was committed to this message of God who is at hand, this commitment is made manifest in the offering of his own life rather than backing away. The death of Jesus is the, the direct result of human sin and the systems that breed it. The crucifixion illustrates the ultimate sacrifice and calls us to humility. Because we can bring no greater sacrifice than Christ offering his own self. Instead, we bring our hearts, we bring our lives, and we come forward to accept the mercy of God Jesus came to reveal. Don't look away. Don't look away. Instead, see the Christ who in love and in justice tells of God here and now. This God who is reigning. Don't look away. Look to the Christ who gave everything, including his own life, to declare the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God, near and at hand. Amen.